Hello. Today I'm gonna talk about um, <clears throat> the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Uh, even though the, the day you're seeing this is my birthday, because I always like to have a video or two on my birthday, and um, I have ac I have actually <clears throat> saw this film in the theaters. Uh, exactly two weeks ago um, by the time you're watching this video but the time comes out but I love watching this on the big screen it was such an amazing experience um, you know I've already talked about all these films individually there's the all six blu-ray set I've got, but <clears throat> I, I love all these movies. These films are excellent. Um, I still see Return of the Jedi as my second favorite, or Ty as my second favorite with The Empire Strikes Back, which was in theaters uh, three years ago for its 40th anniversary, and um, I didn't get to see that in the theater because that was, you know, 2020. Um, our theater, the Cinemark Theater, which had this playing, uh, they had a whole bunch of movies that are like classic films before new movies came out. But then, even then, it was like just there were some things like they were trying to find ways to have it so people can go to the theater and be a part for 2020, and then just. I don't know. By the time it came out, you know, and I, I have the, I probably mentioned before, but like a rewards thing where you, uh, uh, you go and you get your tickets, uh, and then you, uh, have certain, like, uh, credits, and every month you get a new credit, and that keeps going, and the more credits you have, the more, <clears throat> you know, either the more movies you can go to, or, you can bring more people to see movies. And so I had never seen Inception in the theater. For, so for its 10th anniversary, I went and saw that. And then afterwards saw Tenet a couple times. And then I wanted to see this, but I didn't get to because afterwards it was just at night because new movies that were out, they had to readjust the whole <clears throat> classic film schedule. Um... And some of those movies that they were supposed to have in 2020 never got their theatrical, like, re-release. And so... There, it was basically all nighttime sh viewings for this, and I hope people will excuse me for being somebody who... Like, unless it's a brand new movie that is out, that is new... I just don't generally, at least not at this point in time, I could change sometime in the future, but I generally don't go out and watch <clears throat> films at night because um, there's a lot of idiots and dumb people out on the roads, especially in big populated cities like where I live, you know, in Des Moines, and then there's West Des Moines where our Cinemark Theater is. That's close by. And so... You know, uh, that was uh, a thing that I just, I, I wanted to see, but I just, like, with just how everything was reopening, and even though, with, like, certain restaurants and other stuff, people might have to be away from each other, still there was people who were just, like, you know, oh, I want to go to this or that, and because of that, things uh, you know, they did go back to normal pretty much fast around here when things reopened in May. But even then, when more things opened that were shut down for a while, longer, you know, more people were like, well, now I want to go and do all all the stuff I could, I used to do before. And, you know, people kind of uh, act pretty dumb in situations like that. So, you know, it's 
uh, you know, 2020 was an interesting year. Not a horrible year for me, necessarily, overall. You know, some ups and downs for sure. Um, but mostly ups. But it was unfortunate I didn't get to see this, but I know many people did. I made sure to see this, though. I'm like, I, I want to see one of the original trilogy films in the theater, because who knows if they'll ever have this again, like for a 45th anniversary. Um, I don't know. Um, I didn't do anything for the 40th anniversary for this film, the original, the film that started everything with this franchise. But I went to see this film, and it was at a new theater. I never went to it before, but... It was like a about a half hour drive or so, you know, depending on traffic. And traffic wasn't too bad when I went at a pretty decent time, able to go and went. Um, and it was an amazing experience. There weren't too many people because it was pretty early, but that's fine. But also, you know, at the point at the time of me recording this on second. Um, uh, it had already been playing since like um, the past Friday, so it's in theaters for like a week. I saw it. I love it. I've always loved Return of the Jedi. You know, again, it's still by tied as my second favorite film in the franchise. With The Empire Strikes Back, this is my favorite film. Um, but yeah. I love it. And I spent the past many days before watching all the, the previous five films to prepare for Return of the Jedi uh, on the big screen. And so that was really cool just to be able to watch all those again. I mean, I could watch all those whatever, but, you know, I think for something like this, this was kind of like a uh, another just a bigger excuse to just go out and watch it <laughs> watch all these films in order and then watch this in the theater that was amazing I just I, I, I loved it I thought it was an amazing experience you know it ended the same so you know if you're somebody who wondered if there's a brand new ending nobody saw and only for this release they would show if you're one of those people, you know, uh, you get disappointed because there's absolutely no brand new special scene. It's just the, just the normal movie. Well, at least the, I guess the special edition, as they call it, <clears throat> like the uh, 4K version, I believe. Uh, but yeah, of these films, love this film great conclusion to this trilogy and also this film um, um, is now in the National Film Registry I believe I said that before I made a video in the past mentioning that I don't know if I did a full video because you know, I've done a lot of Star Wars stuff because my favorite film and franchise and you know and I see Star Wars myself as six films because of George Lucas being involved in all six of these films. Um, the Disney ones, you enjoy those. Fantastic. I guess part of the reason they didn't do anything for the 40th anniversary for like a re-release of this is because, well, uh, The Last Jedi was coming out. And, well, we all know people weren't uh, the biggest fans of the, that film. Uh, people are divided on that movie. Um, some say it's the worst. Uh, if you consider it all as a big franchise, it's the worst Star Wars film. And um, if you're like me, and you uh, see Star Wars as the six films George Lucas did, since he didn't have much involvement beyond the creating of the stories of the trilogy after this film, uh, one, but then left fairly early on when he realized they weren't really going to follow his stories from <clears throat> beginning to end. You know, he uh, 
you know, if you're like me and see it that way, then I guess you could, some might say yeah, The Last Jedi is the worst of the Disney films. Whether you do or not, I don't know, but everyone's different. Um, but I do love Return of the Jedi. It's a fantastic film, and this is the first film trilogy to be indoctrinated or inducted into the uh, National Film Registry. Uh, all three films are seen as um, uh, uh, important and culturally, like important culturally as well as influential. And I agree, you know, these films are all influential in so many ways, inspired so many people wanting to make movies, sparked a lot of people's imaginations, and just, just overall is a fantastic uh, film. So, uh, yeah, it's not just my hoodie today that I'm wearing this. It's a bit cool today at times. I mean, the sun was out, so it looked nice, but, you know, the wind was uh, pretty persistent, so that's uh, something, but, you know, springtime and such, so that happens, but, yeah, I, I love seeing this film on the big screen. I hope they will re-release this again, and will re-release this, because in 97 they did release these, but, you know, I believe, like, President's Day weekend was the first, was when they had this out, and then the next month was this, and then the following month was, you know, Return of the Jedi. Um, and I don't recall exactly how long they were in the theater. I want to say a week, but it could have been maybe a couple weeks or a full month or whatever, but people saw those. <clears throat> in 97 being just two years old and not three yet I didn't get to see them but I'm sure if I did I probably would have been very uh, enamored with everything I was seeing because I'm you know, so used to seeing these at home on VHS or if they were ever on TV you know but um, yeah great film it was completely worth seeing on the big screen I loved uh, just watching it, uh, watching this again. Love watching all six of these films again. Yeah, got some movies and other stuff for my birthday or around my birthday that make it a <clears throat> a video sometime. Might not be this week, but the next week. Just uh, sort of uh, be able to uh, share exactly. <laughs> I guess what all I got, like a sort of like a like a movie update and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, it's great to see this again on the uh, and especially on the big screen. I know I've said that a lot, but I, this is definitely a film that is worth watching in a theater. Like if you had the ability to. Hope you were able to take it, but you know, sometimes these theater chains they mention a film and then they don't show it for whatever reason. Uh, luckily, a town nearby that wasn't that far away had it, um, so that was fantastic. But, um, But otherwise, it would have been like a Godfather uh, scenario where it's like in Council Bluffs, which from Des Moines is about like about three hours generally. Um, yeah, traffic was incredibly good. I maybe two and a half, but I, that would be like if you just leave and go <clears throat> to Council Bluffs. But since I don't know anybody there or even around near, like, rather into, like, Omaha, Nebraska, which isn't that too far off. So I don't know anybody really that lives in that area. 
it wasn't really possible for me to see The Godfather last year. Um, because that was the only theater in the state that was close. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I, can't. I love The Godfather, but not enough to go that far and then to stay overnight somewhere that, you know, not overtly used to or don't nobody uh, around there. So, yeah. But this was in Waukee, uh, Palms Theater, and IMAX. And it was a great theater, too. Uh, might see Oppenheimer at that IMAX. Um, that'd be really cool. But yeah, great to see this on the big screen. Loved it. Hope to see this on the big screen as well as this. You know, especially this. This is my favorite movie, so I would love to see my favorite movie of all time. Uh, though I guess in a way, these are all one movie, so I did. I've seen most of my favorite movie to some extent, but I'd like to complete it all, and then especially if I had to just choose one of these as my preferred favorite. This would be mine, as I've mentioned before. Yeah. Anyway. Hope all of you are doing well. Hope you had a great week, and hope you're having a great week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.